In this video, I will review how I set up my electronic drums with GarageBand. The hardware I will be using for this video includes the Focusrite Scarlett 2i4 audio interface, a MacBook Pro laptop computer, the Alesis Nitro Mesh electronic drum kit, and two thump 15A monitor speakers. Begin by connecting the audio interface with the laptop using the USB cord. You may need to use an adapter similar to the white one included in the shop, depending on what hardware you have. The reason I choose an audio interface is because of the output options it has available. By using those two output jacks in the back, I can connect to really two really nice monitor speakers and the drums sound great. You could also connect a USB directly into the computer and then connect to a speaker using either Bluetooth or a cable. Next, I'll use a MIDI cord to connect the electronic drum kit to the audio interface. I'll plug it, it into the MIDI in, into the back of the audio interface, into the MIDI out, into the back of the electronic drum module. Another option of connecting your drums other than the MIDI is to get a USB hub and connect both the audio interface and the electronic drums into it and then connect that to your laptop as shown here. I will then connect my two monitor speakers to the back of the audio interface in the output jacks with quarter inch cables. This is one of the two output monitors that I'm using. Plug the other end of the quarter inch cable in the back of the monitor speaker like this. Now it's time to get started in GarageBand. Begin by creating an empty project and selecting a software instrument to start with. Now on the left here in your instrument library select a drum kit. I usually select the heavy drum kit and I'll go down here to my smart controls and if you can't see those press this button right here and I'll jack all the volumes up close to max and I do this because sometimes I don't hear the drums as loudly as my other instruments if I'm jamming with other musicians. So this will kind of make it more on par. One handy utility included with GarageBand is the metronome, which you can activate by clicking this button here. Once your metronome is selected and you click the play button, you will hear the metronome play back, which will be helpful when you're practicing your drum beats and will help to ensure that you can keep your timing. Now I'll configure GarageBand's audio preferences to use the Focusrite Scarlett audio interface by going here. And for the output device I'll choose the Scarlett and for the input device. And now we're good to go to use our electronic drums with GarageBand. Next I'll demo what the kit sounds like when playing it through GarageBand and an audio interface with these settings. And output to the two thump speaker monitors. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and found this video helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below.